Welcome back to Get Your Sacks Together. I'm Pro Saxophonist Jamie Anderson. Hope you had a great week. Welcome back. As usual, I am going to sax up your Sunday, as I do each and every Sunday on this channel. This week, I'm going to teach you how to play Clarence Clemens' legendary tenor solo on a massive tune by Lady Gaga called The Edge of Glory. So let's get straight into it and learn how to play it. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you will know that I'm all about teaching you how to play bona fide sax classics that I'm passionate about. If you want to learn how to play the vocal line of a pop song like Havana or whatever, you're going to need to go to another channel because it's all about the sax here on Get Your Sax Together. I'll teach you how to play things that were originally played on sax. And this was originally played by one of the most famous sax players who used to play with Bruce Springsteen, Clarence Clemens. Rather poignantly, this was one of the last things he recorded. It's with Lady Gaga, The Edge of Glory. So let's get into it. I've broken it into eight phrases. Here's the first phrase. As usual, I'm gonna break it down nice and slowly so you can see the notes, you can see all the fingerings, and it's gonna be there for alto and tenor. So here is phrase one. Don't worry if you can't remember all the notes, just go down into that description box, click the link, and I'll send you a free PDF, which is a transcription of the whole solo. Look at this. Edge of glory transcribed right there for you. So go down into the description, click the link to get your free PDF. Then you can follow it through. All the phrases are marked in with numbers in a bracket underneath the transcription, so that's a pretty cool feature as well. Go and print it off, and you can follow it through as we now move on to the second phrase. Here it is, slow down, slow motion. And now phrase three. In case you hadn't noticed, this whole solo is built around a pentatonic scale. Now, if you want to know what a pentatonic scale is, then go to the card linked up there because I've got a whole video as an introduction to pentatonics, what the notes are, how you use them, what the bluesy variations of the pentatonics are. So if you go up to that card, you'll find my video and that'll teach you everything you need to know. Now, almost every pop sax solo is made from pentatonics and you'll find them all over this channel. So it's a really good video, video to go and check out that one. Okay, let's move on to phrase four. How's phrase four looking? Yep, still looking okay. Let's check it out, here we go. So when I was checking if phrase four was okay, I was gonna see if it was the one that went up high, but it's actually this one, phrase five, that goes up to a top F sharp on tenor. It's only a top C sharp on alto, so this is actually quite a good solo to do an alto, which is why I've got the fingerings for both alto on tenor on this one. Okay, let's do phrase five. Here it is, it's got this really epic long note, and then the beat kicks in underneath it. Great phrase this, here it is. Throughout this solo, Clarence Clemens uses his trademark growly, gravelly tone. If you want to know how to do that, go to the card linked up there, and I've got a whole video teaching you how to growl on sax. <laughs> Pretty cool video, that. Uh, really important for this solo, and many other solos on the channel. So, let's go on to phrase six. It's got all these repeated notes on the offbeats. Very simple, powerful phrase throughout this whole solo. Uh, let's slow it down, and you can learn phrase six. Here we go. Let's check out phrase seven. This is the penultimate phrase. Here it is, nice and slow. One of the key features of this Clarence Clemens solo on Edge of Glory is repeated notes. And there's more repeated notes in this final segment of the solo, phrase eight. So here it is, and this is how he rounds off the solo. Here we go. So 
that's it. You've now got all the material you need, all eight phrases to learn the whole solo on Lady Gaga's Edge of Glory. I'm going to perform it for you in a second. I haven't got a backing track on this one. It's a bit of a complicated backing track with lots of weird, like, gated synth sounds and stuff like that. It's not one I could quickly knock up, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to play the solo. Um, one feature of what he does is these fall-offs, these glissandos off the note. Now stay tuned, because next week I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that, how to do glissandos, falls, rips, Van Winkles, you name it. It'll be next week's video. Okay, let's have a stab at the whole thing. I'm going to play the whole solo. The notes will also be displayed for you, so that's also a useful thing for you to learn solo with. Here we go. Fingers crossed, I'll make a pretty good stab at it. <laughs> okay, hope you enjoy. Here is the Edge of Glory. Now, do not forget, do not forget, do not forget. I'm going to say it three times because it's so important. It's very important to copy the exact phrasing and sound of the solos that you're trying to learn, otherwise they won't sound convincing. So you might hear me play it and go, oh, it doesn't sound like, doesn't sound like that when I play the notes. Well, there's a few different things going on. One is maybe you're not doing the growl right, and remember I carded a video earlier. One is maybe the falls weren't right. Tune in next week, you can learn how to do that. You might want to learn how to transcribe it properly, and to do that, you can go to the card up there. I've got a whole series, three-part series, on how you can transcribe, and that is the number one thing that's going to transform your sax playing. That is the secret that you're not going to find in many places on YouTube about how to play sax, but copying the phrasing is everything, getting the right sound, the right timing, you know, the right attack, the right tonguing. So go to the series on transcription, and you can learn how to do it for yourself. Empower yourself, man. So that's it for this week, learning how to play Lady Gaga's Edge of Glory. Hope you enjoyed the material. If you're enjoying the channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos, which is uh, GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, 7 a.m. every Sunday. So if you're in America, if you're in China, if you're in Europe, it'll be one hour ahead. I was going to do a fancy thing where I was going to tell you what time it would be in your time zone, but work it out for yourself. Every Sunday, 7 a.m., my GMT, because I'm in the UK, that's when they come out. Um, what else could you do to help me? Go and comment. Engagement is really great. I'd love to hear your comments. I'll definitely answer all your questions and all your comments until I get about a billion subscribers, which I'm pretty far off at the moment. <laughs> so that would really help me out. Go and check out my Instagram. And of course, don't forget to go down into the description and get your fantastic PDF transcription of this solo. By the time I'm done on Get Your Sacks Together in I don't know how many years, this will be the ultimate place to come and get every famous sax solo and learn how to play it, as well as how to get great technique, how to improvise, and all the other good stuff you find right here on Get Your Sacks Together. So have a fantastic week, keep practicing, and I'll see you next week. Take it easy. Bye.